Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the Taliban. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with the Taliban, Joe. Yeah. So sounds, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Been yeah. there, done that. Well, so, that. um, you know, they do all sorts of like wild stuff, right? They, wow, Jonas. One of the wildest things was uh the loss of American life. But yeah, I remember. Yeah. Never forget. So. Recently, they've come. I think they're back in power in Afghanistan. I don't know. I don't keep up. But yeah, all those years over there, and all we got was their UAP. Funny. Yeah. Uh, Lord, it comes back. Always comes back to the UAPs with you. Just saying. Um, so, you know, whenever they they take over rule, they always do wild ish, like about like making women not able to go learn and like all sorts of wild stuff. Yeah, I've uh, yeah, I've heard that they've uh, kind of returned to some of the more traditional values over there. Some of the ones that we tried to. Uh, I mean, not that it was, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. The women thing kind of bothers yeah, oh, me. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Well, one of the, I find oddly weird is they have prohibited the publication of images of living things. I thought you were going to say Mohammed, but no, you went with living things. So does that mean? It, it says like. Television and pictures of living things were banned across the country under previous Taliban rule from 96 to 2001. But a similar edict has so far not been broadly imposed, but they're starting it. It says since 2021, officials have sporadically forced business owners to follow some censorship rules, such as crossing out the faces of men and women on advertising, covering the heads of shop mannequins with plastic bags, and blurring the eyes of fish pictured on restaurant menus i have my hand up Jonas. Hey, tnt you have a question hand up why uh let me see if it says why oh oh i see now that was a part of the reason i asked you before we started do we know why you insane you said do you know why <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know like if it's a religious thing like you know what fine whatever dude as long as you're not doing blood sacrifices or like anything with kids I don't care if it's your religion that you can't look a fish in the eye but it you know it's it's giving weird energy it's it's giving like you know like really cultish type of behavior when you say I have to put a plastic bag over a mannequin or we have to censor out fish eyes. Now look, the Jap Japanese did it right because censoring out genitalia, like I'm on board for that. I don't want anybody to see my nuts and berries, or my twigs and leaves. Oh, you went right to it, didn't you? I don't. I don't want anybody to see that. And I think that I think that we should all have like special contact lenses that blur each other's genitalia out so that we could uh <laughs> like so if you try to get intimate with a woman you just can't see your part. It's like a yeah, at least until you're like 36, and then you know after you're 36, you can you can go ahead and look at all the penises you want to, um, not no vaginas until you're 50. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's weird energy, Jonas. I I don't know if, but if it is a religious thing, I don't want to offend anybody because I almost made a Muhammad joke earlier in the video. I did not do it. I prevented myself wow. from doing it, but. I would like to know if it is a religious thing or if it's just kind of like a, because it, a lot of the the impetus for, uh, I almost said Hamas, but for, uh, what, what are these people? I'm sorry. Uh, Taliban? The Taliban seems to be uh, stoked in tradition. And a lot of it seems to be like like from the way they treat women to women can't go to college, women can't drive, and they have to wear a certain type of dress. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's set, I mean, the only thing I've really found is that it it um not to show living things with a soul. So I I, I feel that it it does have religious undertones yeah. too. Okay. It's like it's something about like respecting. It's it's part of their morality laws. Like if, which comes back to that like women shouldn't ha show their skin and shouldn't yeah. be smart or like yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um. I mean, sure. I guess whatever so can you watch tv can they do they have movies? yeah so that, i guess that was like my question it was like it didn't get into the deepness of like what that all entailed but it said like it was sporadic like they would go like i could just see you, you like you like own a, sh a shop and you're like oh i got this model with like a tank top on and they come in they're like cover the head and they make you put a bag on it this is this is like if you let jared leto like run a country <laughs> i thought you were gonna say jared from subway <laughs> 
no. That that's a different. That'd be a different. A that, different that, thing. that would be an island. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Oh, Lord. That was a, that was a thinker. You went deep, so deep. That was a thinker. That was off the top of the dome too. Oh man! But yeah, it's like if you let like uh like David Duke run a run a country or something. It's just it's just a little too much, man. I don't I don't know enough about their religious beliefs to make any real inference though but yeah i mean hey people do all sorts of stuff for religion yeah you know what i mean like i mean we fight wars over it well, obviously wouldn't it be crazy if they were right <laughs> i mean like you get to the pearly gates and he's like i'm sorry let me let me take a look at your phone oh i see you have a bunch of pictures of living things on here <laughs> straight to hell <laughs> <laughs> Straight to hell. <laughs> oh, you're a woman. Oh, let's see. Uh, you got uh, pictures of your dog on your phone. Death. Quick, quick little IQ test to get you in heaven here. All right. What's one plus one? Oh, you got it right. <laughs> I know, dude. That would you be... have a high school diploma? Sorry. It. The thing that like I don't understand. No is, virgins. It, yeah, right? Like, everybody... Like, they do it for a reason, right? Like, whatever what? weird or ethical to them reason they, they see. And... <laughs> mm-hmm. It it really boggles me when people they use like a religious construct to say that's why they're doing something. Oh well, you're an atheist though. I'm not an atheist. I'm agnostic. Mm. Diff- that's different. Tomato, tomato. Eh, not quite. No, it's more like it's more like banana banooner. I don't know, man. Agnostic wouldn't uh, shoot me down every time I bring up UAPs. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm agnostic about that too. But we have proof of Show one. Show me. We have proof of one and no proof You had a of the guy other. talking about it, bruh. <sighs> Joe Schmo. Somebody people talk about Jesus all day. This muff think that the sun is yellow. You see this? Wow. He think, think the he think the moon is in hollow. Wow. Project Blue Beam. Anyway, Joe, you were saying I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I lost my too. You were uh, saying is oh, that they do oh, whatever they, use they a want. religious because... construct, yes. right? Yeah. And and the thing that I think is really wild about it is is you know they they say like oh this is for religion or whatever, but yet through that you are oppressing people and things. Well, with religion comes a degree of oppression, self oppression. Uh, flagellism, if you will, uh, it, it, it comes with uh, tempering one's own desires because those desires are seen as impure. Now, the gradient, the scale, the spectrum of impurity is dependent on the religion and the belief structure and all of that stuff. But yeah, it, uh, that type of uh, that type of self maintenance is inherent in all religion. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's just it. Well, I mean, it, but I feel like, and that's what I think makes religion get a bad rap for a lot of people, is because people see people do things for religion, and they're like, that doesn't make sense, even ethically, morally, like whatever. Yes. So why am I going to do that? I would only tell those people is that you don't trust most of the people that you encounter in your life. I don't know why you would hold somebody with a Christian or uh, or Jewish or any other religious background to be any different than them. There's no such thing as a per. Now the the thing is that you think because they have that in their life that they they should have a different set of morality. I'm sorry, man. People is people, and uh, some people believe in God, and some people believe in little green men, and some people believe in uh you know the virgins after they die and. But they're all capable of the same shit. So, and you know what's funny is only one or none are correct. Yeah, that's true. Like, there's a chance that none of them are correct. Mm-mm. That it's all just poppycock. Who was the guy who uh, did Raging Bull? That uh, De Niro. De Niro. They just had an interview with De Niro, and uh, he says is that after you die, there's nothing. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if he had a near death experience. My man was looking near death in the interview. That is a that's a slight a <laughs> slight jab at him. God damn. He's, he's that's looking, Bobby D. He's an old man, slight little jab, Bobby. But uh yeah. Damn. <laughs> I'm just saying is that he this says man. there's nothing. Okay. So I, and I don't know if that's true. And uh, you know what? I'm fine Lord, either way. All right. Well on that note, after you're taking Bobby D into the dumpster. <laughs> That's all the time we have for today's episode. Do you want to get another jab in before we out or something? 
Uh, his mom's cooking's bad, something like that. Jonas's toe is unpleasant to look at. Get out of here! I said Bobby D, not me, you <laughs> jerk. Uh, for Jonas, TNT. Oh uh, yeah, 